behind the scenes, honestly, just don't say you do a lot of work. This is Hazel Mura. She's our treasurer. Hazel, uh, well, I'll give you an idea. We, uh, we're going to have National Night Out. And I hope most of you come to the National Night Out. It's a great affair. We usually get between three and four thousand people. But um, years ago, when I first uh, knew about National Night Out, which was about 16 years ago, nobody in the Bronx had it. And uh, I got invited to the first National Night Out by Hazel. And Hazel and, uh, and the community affairs had put together this National Night Out. Now, it wasn't three or 4,000 people, it was uh, 18 people. <laughs> And we marched from the Ribbon Playground to the Public Parkway. Anyway, so we sort of teamed up. I like the idea of National Night Out. And we sort of teamed up. We got some more resources in. And we got, next year, we had 36 people. And the following year, we had 1,000. And from then on, our numbers had usually been about uh, 4,000. Okay, we haven't taken off the Parkway this time. Happened in Congress Mall, Rocks Park East, and Lake Avenue. But Hazel honestly started that thing right now. Because after we got successful doing it, more and more precincts picked it up. And they started doing it. So it really but it originally was right here in the Sword Night Precinct. So we thank her for that. She also does uh, most of the mailing. Um, this gentleman I will introduce last because he's going to get up and speak. This is uh, Sylvia Mizzell. Uh, he's uh, a mainstay of the Morris Park Association, has been the president, is on the community board, but more importantly, he's the vice president here. And what he does is uh, I spend, well, I don't know, a ton of time, a ton of time at his house sitting down and going over what, what the council is about, how we can make it better, how we can do different things. So, he also lets me know when I made a mistake. So, Silvio is a right-hand guy, and he's always there. Uh, um, this is Jennifer Cruz. She's not part of our group, so I'll introduce her a little bit later. <laughs> this is Andrea Siegel. Now, Andrea is also uh, the female district leader. But, as far as the council is concerned, she's invaluable. She's also an advocate for the communities and groups, but uh, she's there for National Night Out. And these people spend the whole day there. Uh, National Night Out, the breakfast, the Kalesi run. So uh, it's not, it's not, oh, I don't want to forget Brian. Uh, Brian is our Sergeant of Arms. And uh, Brian usually makes every meeting, with every committee meeting that they corrects me when I mispronounce somebody's name. <laughs> uh, and he's not shy about that either. Um, but I just want people to know that this is not run by one person. One person can't do this. If I don't have the team, then this, these things can't get done. And it's a lot of work. So I rely on them, I depend on them. But uh, for once, I like that. My team, the team of uh, the executive board, to get a nice big hand for the work. <laughs> this is our assistant district attorney, and that's uh, Jennifer Cruz. So we have the district attorney here uh, in case we get some legal situations, some legal questions, and uh, they can't be answered. That they can be answered because certain things cannot be asked in the general meeting. Certain things that you have to ask in the party. Okay, anything concerning names of drug dealers, uh, pedophiles, or people like that. We don't want other people to spread this around that Susan said Charlie is a drug dealer. 
And that's what invariably happens. So we have to be a little careful about that. But you can speak to the captain and the police and the assistant attorney when the general meeting is over. So, but uh, Jennifer um, has been, and she's a new mom too. So. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> <laughs>